In our previous movie, we talked about how you can embed metadata into your images to tell more information about that image. But what about using keywords? Well, Bridge allows you to create and apply keywords to files, and they can be organized into hierarchical categories consisting of parent keywords or child keywords, and they're commonly referred to as sub-keywords here in Bridge. But <clears throat> let's say for our business line, you have different business lines such as industrial, brokerage, or um, asset management. So you have this great expansive library of images, multiple folders dedicated to, uh, well, let's say like investment, uh, like we renamed our files in a previous lesson. But in that investment, you could have a thousand different types of investment photos and maybe you have a certain broker or something that's in one of those photos and you need to quickly be able to identify that for use in collateral down the road. Well one way of doing that is by using keywords and I'm going to show you how to do that here. If I select an image you'll see that any image that I select in the pane doesn't have any keywords assigned to it and this is my keywords panel. So here I have a main category of keywords and I have sub keywords. If I want to assign a keyword to a file, I can select that keyword and Bridge will assign that keyword to the file. And these are just default keywords that Adobe has put in there by default, but we're going to add some of our own to meet the um, or to demonstrate the typical business line of CB or how we might do it. If I want to add, let's say, a sub keyword to a main keyword, I want to make sure that I highlight it first. And then if I come down to the bottom here, we have the new keyword and we have the new sub keyword. So if I want to add a sub keyword, I'll make sure that the main keyword is highlighted and I will select that and let's just put my name in there or your name whatever you want to put in there under people. <clears throat> we can also create a main keyword so I'm going to do that now and we'll call this business lines and under business lines we might put Oh, I don't know, office. And under office, we might put, oh, not under office. Well, now that I made a mistake, <laughs> actually I didn't finish it, so it just took it away. That's why you want to make sure you have the keyword selected. So let's go ahead and select that. And um, so we have uh, office, let's put industrial, so now we have a keyword and we have office and industrial. So I'm going to go ahead and assign um, some keywords to some of these files. And they may not match up as I'm doing it, but I'm sure you'll get the point. So I'm going to select these three files and I'm going to select office. And as I do that, uh, Bridge is going to assign keywords on the back end so I can continue doing what I'm going to do. And I'll go ahead and select these three files, business line, and industrial. And then I can click anywhere. So if I click on these files again, we'll see those meta keywords are selected here. But if I come select one of these, it's not selected. We can see assigned keywords, and it's going to tell me up here up at the top. And if I come down to my metadata, it also has the keywords assigned under the metadata. So now, if I want to search by business line, I know that there are six documents. And if I want to come in and select industrial, I can narrow it by industrial or narrow it by office. And there's my three that are assigned to office. So really quick, efficient way to search for photos, but more importantly, how to stay organized here within Bridge.